ChatGPT has been a controversial AI that brings a complicated feeling among both students and teachers. Some feel that the AI can be beneficial for school and learning, while others feel it can be used for cheating, giving an unfair advantage for those that use it. ChatGPT is an AI that when given a prompt, like for example, how to make scrambled eggs, it will give you the recipe for scrambled eggs or will answer any questions you give it. It is free to use and is available on openai.com. Mr. Hastings, the principal here at WHS, shares his thoughts on ChatGPT's impact on students. It's going to be interesting to see how um, this actually works. I, I know a lot of, um, especially language arts teachers, are concerned about students having the ability or the skill to be able to write on their own. So I, I think it's it's a, a tool that's new. Um, but it, it, it can be quite scary for um, teachers to navigate it. And I, I think it, it's something that we need to definitely investigate. But I, I want students to be able to write with their own thoughts um, on their own. Mrs. Nuga Bauer, a language arts teacher at WHS, shares how she can detect when ChatGPT is being used for formal schoolwork. Well, I'm excited about um, artificial intelligence helping us be uh, better teachers and helping students learn. But I am nervous about um, just how it can mimic certain styles and hard to see if it's a, an original work or not. Jose Sierra and Thomas Anguiano, WHS students, share their thoughts on the chat GPT. I, it's fun. I use it to like write, write small stories and it's helpful sometimes, every once in a while. I think it could be used for both types of things, you know? Everything has a good a good side and a downside. Like, you know, some people could use it to cheat on things, you know, break the law. You, know, you never know how that could, could be. ChatGPT has found many uses, both good and bad for students and teachers alike. Although it has its controversies, it still remains as a helpful tool. This has been Alondra for Trojan News.